welcome back my name is Reagan if you are new here because you probably are because I've got 50 subscribers and um, I am very new to YouTube I'm not entirely sure what I am supposed to be doing or saying but I'm just giving it a go so if you'd like to subscribe to my channel that would be marvellous when I've edited this I have realised that pretty much all the way through you can either hear the parrot in the kitchen squawking or there's little tip tapping or have dog feet on the floor so I do apologise for that, but that's what comes with being an animal lover. I have four two hours and an African grey parrot, so can't avoid them, unfortunately. To get us back into it, we are going to start off with a big ass Sarah haul. I say big ass, I've got about five things, I think. But the Zara website is an awful place to be. Um, I won't lie, Elliot has picked probably most of these for me because I just cannot deal with the website. How are you supposed to pick anything on there? I don't know. But we've got to get used to the online shopping world. I'll try my best to link everything down below. But I think a few of these things were in the sale or getting close to selling out. So I'm not entirely sure if everything will still be there. Jeebs. Jeebs. Come on. Literally obsessing of the fact that there's a tripod in the room. The dogs have just come in, so if you hear loads of sniffing, snorting, scratching, that would be why. Turn around. Okay. Say hi, Phoebes. Phoebes, what's that? What's that? Dogs just don't understand pointing, do they? First thing that I've got is this lovely shacket. Now, I have never owned a shacket. Um, it's the first one that I have ever purchased. Okay, you're gonna go down because you're just gonna sniff at everything that I pick up, aren't you? Yeah, let's move you. Good girl. Want to go up there? Want to put you up? Yes, shacket, shirt, jacket. It's the first time I've ever purchased one, actually. Um, I went for this in a size medium. It was supposed to be £50, but it is, uh, it's currently in the sale. Um, it's a lovely looking thing. I know that Zara have been doing these for quite a while now, um, and they've got a few different colours come out, but I'm absolutely loving the cream chocolate vibes at the minute. One thing that I will say about this jacket is um, when you've got short sleeves on, it is a little bit itchy and um, the inside is not lined um, it, the outside material I don't actually find too itchy which I thought I would um, but the inside it's just a little bit irritating not too much I mean I'm a very itchy person uh, I have loads of skin problems so I can cope with it it's still a little bit cold to be wearing short sleeves anyway um, so I don't see it being too much of a problem this next one is a lovely crop chocolate hoodie and um, it's hard to tell sometimes as we all know with the Zara website what is actually going off until it rocks up I didn't realize it was going to be as cropped as it is um, I thought the model just had it tucked in um, but this is absolutely gorgeous quality it is so so soft I'm not entirely sure if it's a little bit too cropped for me I don't particularly like things very cropped if they're elasticated because it's got an elasticated waist I think if it was like cut off I probably would feel a little bit more comfortable with it but I'm gonna try and piece it together with a few different things and see if I can get on with it enough I don't really want to send it back because I absolutely love the chocolate color at the minute and it is so soft and the quality is amazing I've never had a Zara hoodie before um, and I know a lot of people do rave about them so I'm hoping that if I don't like it, I can find one that's not cropped or I might just have to live with it. <laughs> Counting down the days until the sun comes out and we can wear lovely colours again. So, I'm in my spring mode and I've gone for this lilac bodysuit. I um, went for this in a size large. This was £17.99. Um, I can't describe the material. <laughs> It's like that slinky material, if anybody's had the bodysuit from Misguided. Um, this is the kind of material that the Zara Basics everybody raves about. Almost got that like swimming costume vibe about it. Very smoothing, we all love a bit of smoothing. Um, only problem is I'm probably going to have to wear this without a bra. And as somebody 
who is not the most confident about that area. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I think these things we have to live and learn. Quite like cutting on the arms. So I think with a normal bra, you will probably see the straps through. Um, so if you're somebody who is not confident in not wearing a bra, maybe avoid this one. Um, I will try it on without a bra and with a strapless bra. Some people are not bothered if you can see bra straps. I'm a little bit iffy about it. So the next two items I've got are a matching set from the Limitless Contour Collection. Um, I actually saw these in another video that someone did and I thought, oh my God, I've got to buy these leggings. And then when I saw they had a little matching top, I thought, I'm going to go for it. Extremely stretchy, super, super soft. Really like the little lining on the hem at the bottom. It's super cute. And for the leggings, um, same again. They're just plain at the top. And the little ankles are just so cute. I just thought I really like them. It finishes them off. I did want to buy these in more colours, but unfortunately they were sold out. Um, I imagine these in a chocolate colour. Oh my God, I would have bought them straight away. Um, $17.99 for the bottoms and $11.99 for the top. I got both in a medium large. Again, like the bodysuit, if you're not somebody who's confident wearing things without a bra, I probably wouldn't advise it. I mean, you could try and get a strapless bra on underneath it, but because it's a racer back, I think that's a racer back. God, I really need to do some research in on my fashion if I want to make videos about fashion. <laughs> if you're somebody who's not bothered about having bra straps showing, just wear a normal bra with it. Um, I think I will probably go without a bra, much to my dismay, <laughs> um, because I'll be wearing it with the jacket over the top. Come on. Okay, you sit that side then, that's fine. If you're a regular shopper at Zara, I have no doubts in thinking that you will have seen these before. So they are the lovely canvas. I don't know what these are actually called. I have patiently waited my turn for my size to come back in stock. They look absolutely huge, but I promise you that these are only a size five. Um, I'm really looking forward to these because I've got so many things that I think that these would go with. Um, thankfully, the weather's turning a little bit, so I'm not going to ruin them. These were $29.99 and I ordered them in a size five. I've never ordered shoes from Zara, so I will let you know what the fitting is like. I've got some little scrunchies. Um, these are in a gorgeous colour. This is like a lovely teal and an orangey terracotta, if you will, kind of colour. Um, Elliot picked these for me. He says he really liked the scrunchies. <laughs> um, they're just cute. So the next couple of things I'm going to show you, I haven't bought this time round, but I have bought quite recently. So I'm hoping that they'll still be in stock. Um, I'm just probably going to use them to style up a few of the other things. So I thought I'd chuck them in as well. This I actually bought last year, but I know it's in stock because I just recently bought it for a friend for a birthday. This is the Pink Flambe Summer. Now I know that they have a few different versions of the Pink Flambe. They have a normal one and they have a winter one. This one, absolutely stunning. I think it's a dupe for the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy, but oh my God, it smells like summer in a bottle. I bought these a while back. These are just some grey skinny jeans. Zara jeans, I absolutely love. They're so comfy, so stretchy. Um, I only have skinny jeans from Zara, I will admit, but I do tend to size up. Um, these are a Euro 44, which I think is back to a 16 and I'm, I am still sometimes 16 on the bottom half, but typically I have been getting size 14s now. These are so comfortable and again, absolutely love just a typical staple Zara jean. I wore this on Christmas day with some leather look jeans and it looked really nice. Just a nice way to smarten up a black and white outfit, just a little bit of extra luxury. This most beautiful thing I have ever, ever put on my body. I am never cold when I wear this. Um, I've got it with my Christmas bunny from my mum. It's absolutely stunning. I mean, I've had it on quite a few times. It is a little bit dirty in places now. It's waterproof, so when it rains, there's no problems. Um, this dries quite quickly as well, I've found. Um, it's absolutely stunning. And obviously, we're coming out of the season for needing big coats, but if you ever do need a big, warm coat, Zara is the one. Just a little change of outfit to keep you on your toes. <laughs> I'm going to give you a little bit of feedback because um, the comments that I made as I was showing you everything have slightly changed. Definitely keeping the brown jumper, even though it's cropped, I do think it's a really nice length. 
um, and it looks really well to be honest with the leggings I did think it might be a little bit much for me a bit out of my comfort zone but I quite like it I must say though it's very bitty it will do with a good wash um, the inside just a little bit of fluff came off but it was a light top that I had on underneath to be honest I think that you could get away with a strapless bra on the tops that I was unsure if you could I'll probably go without because you can occasionally see but um, that could just well be the bra that I've got. The shoes fit perfectly fine. I would not advise sizing up or sizing down. The blue jeans that I had on were not from Zara, unfortunately. They were from ASOS. Um, and you'll see them in my ASOS haul, which leads me nicely in to saying thank you ever so much for watching. I am planning on sticking around a little while longer than I did last time. I have got an ASOS haul lined up. A lot of lounge wear in there, but I do have a few extra pieces that I've stuck in. I'm also expecting some Angel collection to arrive, seeing as though all we do is sit in the house now. I have invested in some of the wonderful Ellie Darby's Angel collection. I've got a few pieces from there. If there's anything else that you'd like to see, please leave me a comment, a like, a subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram. I'm Ray Cosgrove on there. And hopefully see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Jeeves, you have to like put some effort in if you're going to want to be on the camera. Hi, my name's Jeeves. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be talking you through all my favourite shoes, toys and favourite places to sleep in the house.